Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to check out this really interesting projector right here. It is called the Yeber T2 Plus, which is a very nice premium looking projector that is priced very attractively at 1,799 ringgit in Malaysia. It is a full HD projector and has a lot of premium features that you wouldn't have got it at this price tag. So let's talk about it in today's video. So let's start off with the hardware tour of this projector before we move on to the software features. Now I really love the design of this projector here, it is in this white beach color that looks very nice and doesn't look dated at all. You also get a nice speaker mesh covering around the top part of the projector here and look at that distinctive logo, it has a JBL branding right here and that's because this projector is built in with a pair of JBL tune speakers that also supports Dolby surround audio that is really really nice now this handle right here is actually very nice with a nice rubber grip on top here so that you can just grab it like a water bottle or something and it also doubles as a stand as well so just in case if you don't have a stand to hold on the projector or to prop up the projector you can actually twist this stand down and make it become a stand just like this which is a really cool idea and it's really useful on how they can make this handle to become a stand of the projector as well now on the top here you get the power button as usual this is how you turn on the projector you also get an nfc sensor corner which you can tap on your phone to mirror a phone screen or do some of the functions which i'll show it to you guys later and on the back here we get a couple of ports here so we get the ir sensor we have a standard usb a port for to insert flash drives and external hard drives we have a full-size hdmi port a 3.5 mm audio out port and a rj45 lamp port this is actually pretty impressive i mean it's the first time i've seen a portable projector with a rj45 port if you want to connect to a ethernet connection for more stable internet connection but of course this thing comes with built-in wi-fi and some smart kind of smart tv features i would call that not smart projector but yeah i'm going to show it to you guys later in a bit now this projector has a built-in battery which Gabriel claims up to 2.5 hours on a single charge and that's provided if you don't max out its brightness because if you do that you're going to get less than an hour of battery use and it charges through a two-pin power port which is a pretty standard port not some uh, barrel port and all that which you can lose your adapter and all that and even if you lose that cable you can still buy in electronic stores now Let's get to the software part and show you guys how the Yeber T2 Plus looks like. So this is how I use the Yeber T2 Plus. There's a quarter shoe mount right at the bottom here which you can attach it onto a light stand or a tripod depending on your preference. And what's really interesting here is that Yeber has included a Google TV stick inside the box which you can attach it to the HDMI port here. It does not require any additional power which is really interesting and it draws power from the projector itself. So now, let's turn on the projector and check out the software interface. The Yeber T2 Plus is able to project up to 450 ANSI lumens of brightness, which is actually pretty high considering it is a portable projector. But still, in an indoor setting, you will still need to shut off the lights in order to have the best visual experience. Now, if you look at the interface right here, it is a pretty standard interface that you'll get on all Yeber projectors out there. It is a very standard Linux-looking user interface that's really simple. You get to choose your source right here, screen share, file manager, or even show an office document on the projector without actually connecting a PC. All you need to do is to just connect a flash drive and you can access your files through the file manager app. Now, you can, of course, change certain things such as the team, of the user interface and all that with a lot of wallpapers to choose from and you also get to change the settings set a screensaver have quiet mode not to have the fan running and even treat this projector as a bluetooth speaker because remember it has a pair of jbl speakers built inside that sounds really good now the most important thing that we want to show you guys is the google tv stick here which i've already attached it to the projector so all i need to do is to just click on the hdmi button here all right and in a while voila we are in the google tv interface so i've already set up everything here as you can see it's a very familiar user interface that you get on your smart tvs and all that so let's just simply play a youtube video i'm just going to launch the youtube app so since you already have a google tv stick here so obviously you're going to support things such as chromecast and all that which is really cool so you heard that voice right it's actually really really loud so let's just play some um bgm lo-fi music shall we all right um, I'm just going to play some random videos here and let you guys hear the sound quality.
some lo-fi music to get you relaxed. It actually sounds really good. Alright, let's get out of the video and yeah, this is basically um, just Google TV. It's a very standard thing uh, that you'll see on smart TVs and all that. You get to have YouTube, Netflix, Apple TV+, Plus, uh, Disney+, Plus, Hotstar and all the apps that you can download from the Google Play Store. So there's only just one remote control inside the box to control both the projector and the Google TV stick. And as you can see, the remote control here has a pretty standard Google TV interface. You even get shortcuts to Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, and Amazon Prime Video. So unlike conventional portable projectors with Android TV sticks, you need to maintain two remotes. This only requires just one single remote. Right, now let's get up to the main interface here. So I'm just going to press on the source button right here and I'm already out to the main interface of the Yeber T2 Plus. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how you can connect to your phone using the NFC connection. Now to connect your smartphone with the Yeber T2 Plus, I recommend that you download the free Yeber app on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. And since I have an iPhone 14 Pro right here, I already have the Yeber app running right here. Let's just proceed with the features here. Now the first thing that I want to show you guys is the Miracast feature, which is to share your phone screen onto the projector itself. Now since I'm using an iPhone, it is pretty straightforward. All I need to do is to just pull down the notification shade, the control center, and hit on screen mirroring, and immediately you will see the Yeber T2 series name right there. So let's just tap on it. And on the projector, you will see my iPhone being casted to it instantly. You can see that it's really smooth. There's basically uh, not much of lags right there. So it's really good for presentation if you intend to use your iPhone with the Yeber T2 Plus. Now, there are some other features in the app as well, such as transfer the screen to the phone, which is to transfer the Yeber T2 Plus screen to your phone. That is actually a pretty interesting feature, which I have no idea why uh, one would want to use that, but it is available. So let's say if I tap on this one, I am supposed to see the Yeber T2 Plus screen on my iPhone. All right, so let's just stop screen mirroring on my iPhone and tap screen transfer. And look at this, I have the Yeber T2 Plus screen on my iPhone already. This is like super cool. So imagine that I could have the Google TV interface on my iPhone screen or even on my iPad screen to watch videos and all that. But yeah, it really isn't so necessary. But the feature is there if you want to use it, all right? So let's just go back to the app here and we are just going to check out some of the features, all right? Now, the next thing that we're going to check out is the controller feature. Now, just in case if you mis misplace this remote control, you can still use your smartphone as the remote control for the Yeber T2 Plus and it works very well here. All right, so that's a pretty quick walkthrough of the Yeber T2 Plus software and user interface. I'm really impressed with the image quality and the sound quality that the speaker produces here. Now, the effective viewing distance of this projector is about six to eight feet, which I recommend that you use it in a small living room and all that due to the brightness that it has right here. So don't try to use it in a super big hall because image is going to look super blurred out and you're probably not going to get the clearest projection even if you have all the lights turned off. Now, this projector, retails for 1,799 ringgit in Malaysia, which to be honest, for this kind of projection quality, the speakers and the battery life that you get out of this, I think it is pretty worth considering if you usually take this out for meetings or to camping and all that, this is going to be a great companion with you. All right, so that's all for my thoughts on the Yeber T2 Plus projector. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have any questions as well, do leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And as for now, thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.